There's no point denying it. There's no point trying to escape it. The end is coming. It is near. And you had might as well just be ready for it. So, I'm here to ask you today. Are you prepared for the end of that roll of filament that you've been printing with? Before we get into it today, I just want to ask you guys to come back this Thursday at 7.30 Mountain Standard Time where I will be doing another modeling live stream. We'll hang out, talk about current topics in 3D printing, and just generally have a good time for a little while. Now, let's talk about the end of a spool of filament. That, that point in the filament where there's... You finish the job, but there's not quite enough to start that next job that you want to do, but not enough to throw away either. It's just it's just in that weird between place. And this happens a lot, especially if you, like me, enjoy printing with these little sample packs so that you can get lots of color in your prints. You hit the end of it a lot and you go, oh, this this isn't enough to throw away, but what do I do with it? Now, some 3D printers have longer or shorter Bowden tubes, the, the tubes between the feed mechanism and the extrusion mechanism. My old reliable Replicator 1 here has a direct drive, so I can take that stuff right to the edge, but you kind of have to take that into account in your calculation. While I might have this much filament left, this much of it is going to be stuck in the Bowden tube, so I really only have this much to work with. And like I said in my long video, if you've got a really long Bowden tube like on the Neva here, just forget about it. This is how much your waste is. And while I do wish that there was a reliable way to splice the ends of two pieces of filament together and make a good join on there without any bulging, something that'll go well. I have not found that solution, not one that's simple and easy to do. I've put them together. I've done it. I've made little rainbow packs, but they were so bad that I didn't end up actually using them, or when I did, it was a bad print. So for the most part, I think you're going to have to accept that there will be some waste, but filament is cheap, and really a little bit of waste isn't that big a deal. So take that into account, but, but there's got to be something that we can do with the rest of this, and there is. Small prints. I recommend you keep a couple of these small prints on hand, maybe even pre-sliced on your SD card so that you can just pop them up and get rid of the last little bit of a roll of filament. What sort of small prints are we talking about? Well, I've got a couple of examples here that you might really enjoy. The first one that I want to show you is this, this credit card S, uh, a cell phone holder. It's credit card size and it folds up. It has little thin parts where you can bend it and then when you bend it and put it all together, this particular design isn't my favorite. I will link to a better one in the description, but it makes this little shape that you can just slide your cell phone into perfectly and then when you're done, you unfold it and you can either put it in your wallet or if you've got one of those really clever cell phone holders with space for a credit card in it, you can just slide this in there. I love this design, and I tried other designs, mini phone holders that held together, and they, they didn't quite work. This one was perfect, and so I will recommend a, a similar one to this. The one downside to this is that it does work by folding plastic, and plastic isn't meant to be folded, so if you fold it, too many times in both directions after after a couple of weeks or years of use, it's going to break. However, when it breaks, it didn't use much plastic and you can just print another one at the end of a roll of filament. That's the beauty of this design. It costs practically nothing. It's just a throwaway print, but it's super useful. And when it runs out of its usefulness, you can print another one. I love that. A great use of the end of a roll of filament. I also have these mini containers, and they're fantastic. This one, actually, I ran out of filament. I, I misjudged how much I had, so I had to switch filament and, and switch to another half roll and put it on the end of this one. So you can do that, too. You can change filament partway through. They have just these little screw-on lids. They are 
They're perfect, and they come in a variety of different sizes and thicknesses. This one, I'm holding uh, uh, some glass beads in for the next thing that I might show you guys. There's one of my three millimeter glass beads that I, I have in this little container. But keeping some of these on your SD card to just run out a little bit of filament with is a fantastic use, and trust me, there's a thousand and one uses for little containers like this. What do I need these little glass beads for? Well, this is a really interesting project. It's got a clip with a little hole in it that you can put a glass bead into. And then you take this and clip it onto your cell phone over the camera and it magnifies things through your lens. It takes a little bit of practice to get the focal distance just right for this. But it allows you to see things in the micro world just using a little glass bead to magnify things. It's super cool. Well, that bead's not going coming out of it immediately, but it'll fall out eventually. Another one that I thought was interesting would be whistles. Whistles were one of the first 3D prints that people were excited about because, for one, they worked. And somebody designed a whistle in Germany that they uploaded to Thingiverse and that Brie uh, Pettis 3D printed on his Thingomatic back when the Thingomatic was brand new. And he was like, holy smokes, we just essentially shipped this from Germany to America in 30 minutes. That's amazing. Now, whether that's shipping or not is another discussion. However, these 3D printed whistles, there are a lot of them. In fact, there are even some whistles that are shaped like a ring and that you can wear like a ring, perhaps not regularly. Now, I did have problems with this one because... Wait, is that the right hole? It doesn't matter. I can't get this thing to make a lot of noise. And these other ones, while they work, kind of, they're not the best whistle. The best whistle, the one that I actually recommend you keep, is this one. It's called the Super Noisy Whistle. I'll have a link to it in the description. And it is amazingly noisy. Just the slightest blow in this thing results in a piercing sound that I am not going to show you because it is incredible, but I recommend you try it. And it works on every printer I've printed it on. It's just super effective. And you can hand these out to kids. You can hand these out for camping trips, hiking trips. Make sure that you've got these on hand and they are perfect for using up the end of a roll of filament. Now, of course, you can just take normal prints that you've got and scale them down, provided that they are of a of a artistic nature. For instance, low poly dinos. Did you know that if you take these low poly dinos and you print them at half scale, that you actually end up using one eighth of the material for the smaller one than you do for the bigger one? In other words, you can print eight of these low poly dinos with the amount of material as you could print one if you scale it down 50 percent and that's because of the cubic nature of scaling in three dimensions so scaling and these models are great for it because when you scale them down they still because they're so low poly they keep their details at lower scales and of course there are other low poly and artistic designs that are out there just pick your favorite and you can make yourself a tiny collection of toys that don't waste a whole lot of, of filament or space, but that are perfect for running out the end of that filament spool. Of course, me, I've got supporter tiles to print, and these don't use a whole lot of filament either. So I printed off some supporter tiles, and I would like to thank uh, Thorsten Wirth, Katya Hanau, Audrey Mozganov, I apologize, and David Hoyada. For your support, I'm going to take these filament tiles, which were printed out with the end of some of these micro spools of filament that I've been printing my low poly dinos with, and I'm going to find a place for these up on my supporter mosaic, which I absolutely love because it's like building a puzzle, and you know that I love that. So thank you very much for that opportunity. There are, of course, a host of other micro mini 3D prints that you can do that would be perfect for using up the end of a spool of filament. What's your favorite? Go ahead and post in the comments what you think is a great print to just kind of keep on your card and print when you've got just a little bit of filament so you don't end up just wasting it and throw it away. 
I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to seeing you this Thursday on the live stream. And as always, I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon backers. Your continued support is the wind beneath my wings. Thank you very much for watching to this point in the video. And remember, safety first. I'll see you next time. So, oh, I just totally destroyed that. Okay, you're glued on just fine. It's like we got mommy and baby. So cute. You know, teaching how to fly. <laughs>